Let's get a look at our first alert forecast. It's going to feel like spring here soon. Oof, we got some big warmth moving in here. Well, here's what we've got outside right now. First of all, it's not all that cold for the hour. It's 11:18 at night. You have a temperature reading coming in at 59 degrees. Skies are mostly clear. Great looking day today. Great looking day tomorrow. 64 was your high temp today. So you're two degrees above the average. Then we're off to the races. I mean, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, 76. The record is 78. You're within two degrees. Friday, 77, but the record is 82. So you're within five degrees. And on Saturday, 79 degrees in Central Park. The record's 83, so you're four degrees off. So the best bet would be Thursday to establish a record, but any one of these days could rewrite the almanac and the record books. I do want to point out on Saturday, it's going to be warmer inland with a southwest flow. So while you're 79 on Saturday in Central Park, look at this, some low 80s out there. I mean, you're, you're pushing almost into November. It's 82 in Caldwell, 81 Saturday afternoon in East Brunswick. I do want to talk about what the skies are serving up, and right now there's nothing out there. Bigger picture shows you rain off to our west, but with a couple of high pressure systems working in conjunction with each other, they're basically saying, uh-uh, don't come to town, and we look good outside. I don't see any problems out there. Slight little chance, maybe Sunday night late for a little bit of sprinkle activity. I'll show you that in just a bit, but I do want to talk about the named storms that are out there. We have a Category 1 hurricane. This is Tammy, just north of the Bahamas. Uh, it's going to become possibly a Cat 2 tomorrow as it curves to the north and eventually swirls over towards Bermuda, which is right there. But at this point in time, the L shows you it's just a remnant low, so it's much weaker. It's been torn apart. Basically a rainmaker at that point in time. I want to show you another storm that is a monster. This storm went from nothing to something. All right, Otis, I see you over there. Are you ready for this? This is Hurricane Otis. Yes. <laughs> and Otis no. is right now a Category 5. It's offshore, okay, of the west coast of Mexico. It's going to get weaker as it pushes on shore because it's got an interaction with the mountains and the land in general. So maybe it moves on shore as a Cat 3, but that's mountainous territory. Mudslides are a big concern there. We'll keep an eye on everything. The amount of rain we pick up, if we see anything this weekend, is negligible, less than a tenth of an inch, and that would be late Sunday. I think both Saturday and Sunday are great-looking days. You could see maybe eight one-hundredths of an inch of rain, but anything recordable on Sunday would qualify it as our eighth weekend in a row with some kind of measurable rain, but it's not going to be much. I think you're going to enjoy your weekend. Beautiful weather across the board. I want to point out that Halloween, mm -hmm. it's going to be much colder out there. You're on the backside of a front, so it's 55 degrees for a high temperature. Therefore, your kids are out trick-or-treating in the low 50s, maybe upper, upper 40s, so... You know, you, you don't want to go out as the surfer. This year. You, want, you want to have a warmer costume. Cover those shoulders. Not, yeah, as long as it's not raining. Yeah. Oh. All right. Slight chance of that, too. But. Uh, all right. Okay, all right. here we go. Thank you, Lon.